heel toe shifters may not be for everyone. It depends on the type of bike you have and your riding style. They're generally found more on cruisers or touring bikes, and not so much on street or sport bikes. A lot of riders find they prefer heel toe shifting once they get used to it. It also saves your favorite riding boots from getting that shifter mark on the toe, although some riders consider that a badge of honor. For anyone who's looking for a heel toe shifter for their Harley Sportster, and there aren't any in the market that I can find, here's how I made one. I started with a design which I worked out in a graphics editing application. A CADS program would be a good alternative. The graphics software allowed me to print out my images precisely in actual size. The materials I used for this project, three pieces of quarter inch steel flat bar, one inch wide, a piece of steel tubing, some gray PVC tubing, and some small pieces of 14 gauge metal for gussets and accents. My drafted images were printed out and affixed to the flat bar using spray adhesive. This gave me guidelines for grinding to shape the pieces and where to drill. Not having access to a machine shop, I had to get creative with some of the metalworking procedures. Here's my improvised bending press. The steel plate is used over the brick to give a sharper bending point and prevent the brick from crumbling under the pressure. The C-clamp gives enough leverage to easily bend the part. This is the heel shift arm being bent to the desired angle with the help of an angle gauge. The center hub and bushing were shaped and sized by filing and sanding them in a drill press, using it as a lathe of sorts. To do this, I made a holding bit that fit inside them, that expands when compressed. You can use a cork or a rubber stopper and drill it out. These are the pieces, cut, shaped, and ready for welding. This improvised welding jig holds the shifter arms at the correct angle while they are being attached. All the parts have been welded in place and cleaned up in preparation for painting. As a tip, coat hanger wire is really useful for making jigs and supports to assist in priming and painting. Here is a finished heel toe shifter installed on the Sportster. I hope this video sparks some inspiration and helps you with your DIY project.